Coastal cities are first in line for big changes, and some that can afford it are gearing up to spend billions to make sure they survive. A number of major cities are sinking due to sea levels rising and climate change. In a couple of years, some of these cities will be uninhabitable and largely underwater. From New York City to islands such as Fiji, let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 places that will soon be underwater. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and before we begin, make sure to smash that like button and comment something down below, like let me know where you're from. Also. I'm wearing a cow sweater. So smash that like button for cows. Oh, with that being said, let's get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have New York. New York, the concrete jungle where dreams are made of, is at risk. The main reason being, it's built on an island. Rising sea levels and islands do not mix. It's predicted that the sea level may rise four to eight inches over the next decade. And you may be like, big deal. Well, a five foot rise means that LaGuardia Airport and portions of Manhattan would be underwater. By 2100, most of New York could be underwater. Coming in at number nine, we have Bangladesh. By 2050, it is believed that 17% of Bangladesh's land will be flooded, leaving 18 million citizens homeless. Now, historically, people in Bangladesh have been able to work around seasonal flooding. When water levels rise, farmers would stop their food production and people would seek work other places, and then they would return home. But soon, that won't be an option for them. Soon, they will have even more extreme seasonal floods. But also, they might be hit with more disastrous storms and high tides. Typically, that only occurs for them once each decade. But by 2100, it could be a regular thing, occurring three to 15 times a year. Soon, they're going to be forced out of their homes. Moving on at number eight, we have Miami, Florida. Conditions are getting so bad in Miami that the city may have to soon raise its structures to stay above water. In fact, environmental writer Jeff Goodall said, and I quote, there's virtually no scenario under which you can imagine Miami existing at the end of the century. Isn't that scary? In fact, it's believed the sea level could rise anywhere from 10 to 30 feet by the end of the century. Soon the flooding will take over the beaches. It will be too expensive for the government to maintain, so they'll just disappear. A reason for this is because the ground under is largely porous limestone. So eventually water will just rise up through it and then flood the land. Now the city has taken some measures like raising roads, installing pumps, but it still might not be enough. So if you've ever wanted to go to Miami, you better take a visit soon. Coming in at number seven, we have Key West, Florida. Honestly, a lot of areas in Florida are at risk. In fact, Key West is said to be one of the first US cities to start flooding due to the rising sea levels. Statistics show that the sea level has risen nine inches over the past century. By 2060, it is believed that over 60% of the livable land there will have been flooded. In 2100, 95% of livable land will be flooded. Those are some pretty terrifying statistics. Moving on at number six, we have Charleston Central, South Carolina. Studies show that the sea levels in Charleston have risen around 12 inches over the past 100 years. The rate at which it's going is going faster and faster. Five of the 12 inches have been blamed on subsidence. In the 1970s, Charleston would get around two days of flooding per year. And that was believed that flooding would become a regular thing by 2045. In fact, the floods experienced in South Carolina have increased 75% since 2000. And because of Charleston's low elevation, it's very vulnerable to flooding. There are already 90,000 properties at risk from the tidal floodings in South Carolina. By 2060, it's believed that around a quarter of the livable land in Charleston will be underwater, over half by 2100. Good news though is that the state is planning to put in $2 billion towards sea level rising solutions, which would include raising roads, seawalls, and drainage improvements. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands are a bunch of volcanic islands and coral atolls located in the central Pacific Ocean. Sadly, they're at a huge risk of being wiped out completely. It's said that by 2035, some of the Marshall Islands will be completely submerged. Others will no longer have drinking water because their water will become contaminated with salt water. As a result, the 58,000 people living there will be forced to find a new place to live. The other option is to build new artificial islands for the residents to live on. 
but that would take years and would be very costly. It probably wouldn't be done in time for the residents to move. If nothing is done to stop this by 2045, they will be completely underwater. Coming in at number four, we have Fiji. Man, Fiji is so beautiful and I've always wanted to go there. Looks like we all better take a trip ASAP because the sea level has been dramatically rising. This is due to the bad cyclones, erosion, and flooding they experience there. In fact, the sea levels have been rising an average of six millimeters a year since 1993. Then in 2012, an entire village had to abandon their homes and move to higher grounds because of the flooding. Other villages claim they have lost 12 to 20 meters of shoreline due to the sea levels rising. By 2050, sea levels are expected to rise up to 43 centimeters. Not only that, but the coral there is at risk. The rising ocean temperatures are damaging the coral reefs, causing coral bleaching. This turns the coral white, making them more vulnerable to disease. It's really sad and scary. In our third spot, we have New Orleans. So personally, I say New Orleans, but I think it's pronounced New Orleans. You guys came at me one time in the comments section, so... Just let me know which way it is. Parts of New Orleans is sinking at a rate of two inches per year. Studies show that by 2100, it could be underwater. Some parts are already 15 feet below sea level. In 2005, they were hit with the disastrous Hurricane Katrina, which caused a lot of destruction and flooding, but they managed to recover over the years. But its location on a river delta increases their exposure to sea level rise and flooding. In 2016, a study conducted by NASA found that parts of New Orleans were sinking at a rate of two inches per year. If this keeps up, they will be underwater by 2100. Moving on to number two, we have Bangkok. Bangkok is sinking at a rate of more than one to two centimeters a year. Currently, it is only 0.5 to two meters above water. Much of Bangkok is already lower than the sea level. So it's believed that it could be fully below sea level by 2030. They only have 10 years to come up with a solution to this problem or else many residents will be left homeless. A reason why this is happening is because the metropolitan area was built on what was formerly marshland. That combined with years of excessive groundwater pumping and the constant building have put a strain on the foundation. And in our number one spot today, we have Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta is said to be the world's fastest sinking city. North Jakarta has sunk 2.5 meters in 10 years, and now it's sinking 25 centimeters a year in some parts. Research shows that by 2050, 95% of North Jakarta will be submerged underwater. In fact, currently almost half of the city is now below sea level. Many buildings are already being flooded. They have tried to repair the buildings from these floods, but they just keep getting damaged, and so they're forced to evacuate. So the 13 rivers running through Jakarta do play a role in this problem. But nowadays with climate change, it just keeps getting worse. The Indonesian government has a plan in place to move the capital onto the island of Java to protect 10 million residents from this flooding. But this move would take 10 years and cost $33 billion. So it's a very sad and tragic reality. All right guys, that's all for today's video. It was a pretty heavy and scary one to say the least. So let's just move straight on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 creepy animal hybrids that actually exist, part two. Shashma Asklar commented, next thing you know is that 2021 is having a zombie apocalypse. No wonder why. Yeah, no, knock on wood. That's not happening, sorry. Not happening. Safina Rose commented, I'm afraid of stairs too. That and goldfish. Goldfish, really? Like the crackers or like the actual fish? Imagine if you were scared of like the goldfish crackers, that'd be funny. I mean, I'm not making fun of you, but it would be funny. Plain out nobody, just nobody commented, I want a glow in the dark cat. Also, I really want to be in the comment shout outs. Well, here you go. Uh, here's your comment shout out. Yeah, uh, uh, lots of comments on that video were, I want a glow in the dark cat. No, just leave the cats alone. Come on. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you.